Justin Gaiman here with King of Pressure Wash. And today, I'm going to talk about is $10,000 a month a myth or can you do it or a reality? And I'm going to talk, if you're starting and you're more than that, we're going to hit on some things that we can hit even higher than $10,000 a month. And so... I've been, I had a really cool week this week. I've actually went up and got to ride along with one of my guys for Christmas lights and he does pressure washing. It's my guy services out of Indian, Indianapolis. And he is going to do $750,000. Now I'm going to talk about his business. Some. I'm going to talk about Jason Hefner's business a little bit, and I'm going to just talk about some different things. So whether you're just starting out and you want to hit the $10,000 a month, or maybe you want to hit, add another zero to this thing. And so if you want to add another zero to this thing, give me a comment in here. Who's in here that wants to do $10,000 a month, or who in here wants to do hundred thousand dollar months and you might say jason you're crazy there's no way you can do hundred thousand dollar months in christmas lights and yeah you can do hundred thousand dollar months in christmas lights but we're going to mostly focus on the ten thousand dollar month but i'm going to also hit on how do we get to the hundred thousand dollar months right how can we put systems into place so that we can hit there and I, I love this attitude right 10x everything baby who wants to 10x everything let's add two zeros now i don't know anybody in the industry that does a million dollars a month but uh but hey, you never know, right? It could be done. And so these are some things that I am going to hit on and I want to help you all grow. Now, today I had an amazing day today. Um, so as many of you know, this is a huge thing for me that something happened today and today my daughter got baptized and that was really cool for me and that's something that is really cool. Now, I know it don't have nothing to do with you all, but it is my life and you all probably know more than about my life than I know about my life because I literally tell you pretty much everything. And so I want to be honest with you all and I like the, the truth. And so those are some things that, you know, that we are going to hit on that. And so with that, this week, I also got to go right along with Sam Else. Sam Else, he's out of Indianapolis and he is going to do $700,000 in pressure washing. And he's trying to hit 600,000 in Christmas lights his very first year. Now, I know that's a BHAG and I love BHAGs. You know, we'll be talking more about how, what we need to do to set our goals for 2023, right? And so it is very important that we are setting goals for 2023. And so with this, let me let me talk a little bit here about what we can do. But before we do that, let's see who we got here. Jamie says he wants to hit $100,000 a month. And we're going to talk about what we need to do to hit $100,000 a month. Now, hitting $100,000 a month is way different than hitting $10,000 a month. But because there's another factor that comes in to hitting a $100,000 month that we don't have with a $10,000 a month. And that is employees, right? Employees. If we're going to hit $100,000 a month, we have to have employees. If we want to hit $10,000 a month, we don't need employees, right? And so, you know, we got Jason here. His go I'm about to clutch my first $30,000 in watching. Um his second month, sorry, yeah, second um, $30,000 month in washing. He's going to hit a third one in November for $30,000. So there's money to be made out there. Um, what's up, um, Sierra? How are you doing? I am doing awesome. I 
am excited about what we might have and what we can do to grow our business. We got Mr. Walker in here, the Bobby the Walker. I thought we do. Man, my screen is going nuts. The lady who got on Colorado News is awesome. Yes, and you know what? You can do that same stuff too. And so that is a really cool thing. Um, it It's your YouTube Live. Great. Yes, it is. Um, that's awesome, Jason. Glad and love to hear it. Missed you in Raleigh when, but we'll talk soon. I know you should have came and saw me. Um, ten thousand month is only five Disney days. Yes. What's up, Mister Bobby? Ten thousand is only one parking lot. Yeah, pretty much. Um, I'm shooting for a forty thousand month. It's going to be tough but i think it's possible part time imagine that can you imagine doing forty thousand dollars part time and it's just you and your wife well it is possible it is possible you can do that that is cool just hired a helper last week awesome um we got andrew and savannah out of florida i would be pumped with a ten thousand dollar month well it's caleb I'm going to be talking a lot about how do we get to that $10,000 a month um, is what I'm going to be talking about. So, you know, I always talk about if we're going to hit a $10,000 a month, we have to break it down, right? And so, but before we do that, we really need to set our goals, right? If we don't have a goal to hit $10,000 or we don't have a goal to hit $40,000 or if we don't have a goal to hit $100,000, it's going to be real hard to hit that. And so with that, um, third $40,000 a month in the books. And so with that, these are some things that I want to hit on. Now, some things that I understand, um, and, and, and I'm going to ask some questions later on, and, and I'm going to get your feedback, but, you know, to be able to get $10,000 a month, we have to do something, and it's not about equipment. I mean, I've seen people do $10,000 a month with like literally the 2.5 gallon pressure washer and a backpack sprayer. Now, I don't really recommend it, but I can see that done. You know, I see a lot of people be like, oh, I got to go get all this equipment and all these guys love us selling this equipment and we're going to go get this equipment and this equipment is not going to buy us $10,000 a month. It is not going to get us to a $10,000 a month. And so with that, see, Jimmy just got his first $10,000 a month was this month on track to beat it in November because you're going to do Christmas lights and you're going to double what you did there. You're going to do $30,000 a month as long as that kid don't come out and you have to do that kind of stuff but you know these are some things we're doing um 40 000 a month before upgrading for our four gallon a minute again listen bobby walker out of florida was doing forty thousand dollars a month on a four gallon a minute pressure washer you know you a lot of these people think oh you got to have all this equipment and you're going to be equipment poor and that's the best thing or we're going to give you this really good price on this stuff and you only got to pay you know a five hundred dollars a month and you can have all this amazing equipment but the problem of that is is you don't know how to run a business and so for us to run a business that is successful we have to figure out how do we get to ten thousand dollar months and if to be honest them forty thousand dollar months with bobby was a lot to do with door hangers and he did a lot of walking now if you like to walk and it's florida and it's nice that's one thing but if you want to do other things there's other things we can do to hit ten thousand dollar months and so i was out with um I was out with Sam and he's doing $100,000 a month. And even doing $100,000 a month, how many of these things do you think he puts out a month? Can anybody put on here? How many of these does he buy? Can anybody give me a guess how many he thinks he buying that for yard signs? He's putting out anywhere from about 1,500 to 3,000 yard signs a month. Now think about that. Think about that. 1,500 to 3,000 yard signs. But he's doing $100,000 months. And guess what? This is some things that you do. This isn't about let's just go and do a little bit, 
right? We're going to 10X it. We're going to 10X whatever we're doing. Why does he put that many signs out? Now, they're not all pressure washing. He's got concrete cleaning and sealing. He's got, and I'll have a little video on what he's doing, concrete cleaning and sealing. He's got um, gutter guards um, installation, and he's got Christmas light signs, and he's got pressure washing signs, and he's got all these signs that are high paying jobs. And this is how he's able to hit his $100,000 months, right? Because if we don't do this, this is not how we're going to grow our business. We can't grow our business because we don't want to go do the work. We just want to do nothing and the, the phone is going to start ringing. And that's not the case. That is not the case. That is not how we grow a business. How we grow a business is we have to do marketing. You know, for one, if you're going to do a $10,000 a month, we better spend $1,000 of that in marketing, right? $1,000. We're going to spend 10%. Maybe we might even spend $1,500 in marketing. Now, I didn't put $1,000 in equipment here, did I? Did I put $1,000 in equipment here? You know, it, we're gonna have to have gas to make it run. We might have to rent it to make it run, right? These are some things that we have to do, right? So those are some things we have to do. So let's break down what we need because I seen somebody put here. So let's just say we only wanna work Monday through Friday. I don't even want you to work in the weekends. So if we work Monday through Friday, that's 20 days. That means we only need to put make $500 a day. Now, that sounds a lot better, doesn't it? Does it sound better? Does it sound nice to have a $10,000 day? Sure it does. Or ten thousand, but ten thousand dollar days are really nice. I didn't have many of them, but you can. Ten thousand dollar month sounds like a lot, but when we break it down, we only need five hundred jobs or five hundred dollar days for twenty days. That's forty jobs. That's forty. Well, if we have an average of two hundred and fifty dollars which I want you to have an average higher than that. But if we have an average of $250 a job, that's going to put us at 40 jobs. So how do we get the phone to ring 80 times? What, what do you mean, Jason? How do you, what do you mean I got to get the phone to ring 80 times? Because usually you're at a close rate of about 50%. And so if we're going to get 40 jobs, that means we got to make the phone ring 80 times and we close half of those. And now we're at $10,000 a month. Now, if you're going to do um, $250 a day or $250 a job, that's your average ticket. Well, we can get way more than that on our average. I'm just starting you out of how do we get to this $500 dollars a day here right how do we get to that five hundred dollars a day right if we can't get to that five hundred dollars a day then what do we then we're we, we when we look at this and we say man that's a big number i don't know if i can do that right that's a huge number but when i look at if we can do two of these a day two times 250 you know it makes us think that that's it easier right and even if it takes you four hours per each job and this is an eight hour day we're still at ten thousand dollars now if you're halfway decent you can do any pressure washing job even with a little machine in about two hours maybe two and a half and you get bigger machines you can do it in 45 minutes you know and then the next thing is is how do we get this ticket up how do we get our average up so if we can get our average average per day up which will then raise this up here right and so these are some things that we have to think about when we are trying to get our pressure washing jobs it's not about you know what do i need to do and, and, and this is what people always ask me when they're first starting out jason what do i need to do to get my phone to ring and you know 
this is something that I see a lot of times and people are like, oh, you need a website or oh, you need to do this or oh, you need to do that. Well, you know what? If you have zero friends on Facebook, you might as well not go that route because you're not going to get business that way. If you have zero groups, you're going to have a hard time doing it that way. If you have a brand new website, it's not going to get you no business. If it has nothing. So this is called boots on the ground. Boots on the ground. Who, we need to do boots on the ground. Boots on the ground. Right? We need to boots on the ground. What's that? We're going to go spend $300 and we're going to get yard signs. We're going to put one big service and one big phone number. Don't even have a website yet. Right? We're going to do one of this here. We don't need 20 different services on here. It's not going to work. Pressure wash, pressure washing phone number. That's all we're going to put on this sign. It don't need to have no logo on the background. All we're going to do is pressure washing, maybe pressure washing phone number. Three lines. That's it. That's all we're going to do. Right? And we're going to put out a lot of those signs. We don't want a sign looking like this. Right? This sign is not going to get you any business. Because you can't even read this sign when you're sitting in the car looking out at the stop sign. And who cares about green siding? Who cares about dark and concrete and gutters? Who cares about graying or green wood? Who cares about rooftop streaking? Who even knows what house washing is, right? This is an industry term. House washing is an industry term, right? So we need to make it simple and easy to read. That's one way to get business. Number way two, maybe you do door hangers. Go out and you're putting out thousand door hangers and you're doing it and you're not doing it every, you're not just sending out a thousand and not doing it. You're figuring out where it is and you're hitting those thousands over and over and over, right? We're going to hit that same market two, three, four times because if we just go out and do door hangers on one time, your ROI, which is return on investment, how much ever you spent on that is going to be no good for you, right? And so this is why it is important that we do boots on the ground. Maybe we do some flipping rocks. We go over and we look at the house and flip over a rock, right? We go in that business and we go into business and say, you need any pressure washing? Well, yes, I do. Can you give me a quote? Well, absolutely, I can give you a quote, right? Maybe we're going to the dentist's office. Maybe we're going to the doctor's office. Maybe we're going to the chiropractor's office. Maybe we're going to that small business. Maybe we're going to that mom and pop small business, right? And we're going to flip rocks. And you know what else we're going to do when we're doing this? We're going to network with people and we're going to find out what they do so we can help them out. And you know what? When you start helping them out, they'll help you out. It's amazing how that works. It's amazing how that works. Jason, I'm in, I'm retired. I'm in my 60s. So part-time, $20,000 a month. It can be done. This guy right here is doing 20 to, if you want 20 to $30,000 a month, you might be looking at a 30% close rate, right? I know it doesn't make sense. When we get a higher close rate, we actually make more money, right? So if I get a higher close rate, if, my, if, if I have a 50% 50, 50 close rate, I can be at this price. But if I raise my pricing and I get a $1,000 average ticket, I might only be at a 30% close rate. And you might say, well, that's stupid. Why would I want to do that? Because out of every 10 jobs, I'm only going to get three jobs. Well, let's look at this. Let, let's break those numbers down. I love breaking these numbers down. If I can find my little little thingy to Bob here, right? My little thingy to Bob here. So how does that work? So if this guy has a 30% close rate with an average ticket of $1,000 and he does 10 job, he bids 10 quotes and only gets three, that's $3,000. $3,000, right? That's 10 quotes. 10 quotes and only getting three jobs. So it's a 30% close rate, 30%, right? 
But this guy down here is getting a 50% close rate at $250 average ticket, $250 average ticket. And so he's going to get um, $250. So he's going to have 10 quotes. And he's going to get five jobs at $250. So $250 times five is what? I want to make sure I get the right number. I'm not the best at numbers. Um, I don't know if anybody's going to post it for me. But 250, 250 jobs or $250, $250 times five jobs is $1,250. Is $1,250. Now, let me ask you this question here. Do you want a 30% close rate with a $1,000 average ticket? Or do you want a $250 average ticket with a 50% close rate? Which one do you want? Heck, I can give you, I can give you a 100% close rate. Ready, watch this. A 100% close rate. So if I got 10 quotes and I got all 10, I'm a I'm 100% close rate, right? I'm a 100% close rate. Guess what? I'm only at $2,500. Now, which one do you want to be at? Do you want to be at a 100% close rate at $250? Or do you want to be at a 30% close rate at a $1,000 average ticket, right? These are things that, look, Here's the other thing about this, right? So I only got to do three jobs. So I only got to do um, three days worth of work of one day a job. And I only got a little bit of cost versus the cost of driving to all 10 different jobs that are all over the countryside. And I got 10 different people that's going to complain to me. And why do I, this is, this is how we get to this $10,000 month right here, guys. This right here is the most important thing that gets us to that $10,000 thing. Now, how do we get this $1,000 average ticket? Can you get an average out? Now, are you going to get a $1,000 average ticket? No. But can you get a $500 average ticket? Can you get a $750 average ticket? Absolutely. Can you get a $1,000 average ticket? Yes. I've got guys that are getting $1,200, $1,500 average tickets. How do we get those? We got to ask. We got to do packages. We got to do things that make us money, right? We This is how we get there. Now, I know I started off on a $10,000 day, but this is how this stuff here is also how you get to $100,000 a month, right? By getting our average ticket up, by getting that done, these are some other things that we can do to get our average ticket up, right? So these are the things that, right, and, and somebody just put and add, subtract all the extra driving cost, right? $4 a gallon gas for this 10 jobs is going to eat you up. It's going to eat you up fast, right? And so these are some things that we have to do to be able to hit our $10,000 months. So how do we get to $10,000 months? We spend fifteen thousand to fifteen hundred dollars. Well, signs are about three hundred fifty, four hundred bucks, right? The three hundred fifty, so we can get two sets of signs. That's two hundred signs a month, and then we can go out there. We can start doing that, and then we can start asking for referrals off of that, and that is all what's going to grow our business, right? These, and then we can do this here. I do my five arounds. Right, we do our five arounds when we do our houses, so that's another touch. And we're going to put a sign in their front yard, and we're going to touch all the neighbors, and we're going to touch them again with a, a five around. And this is, and if you're if you're not booked, we can do ten or twenty around, right? And so we're going to do that, and this is how we can grow and scale. Now, this is just the boots on the ground. You can do $10,000 a month. I've had guys literally email me and message me and say, I just started this business and I'm doing $10,000 a month. It can happen. You know what stops us from not doing $10,000 a month? You. That's the only thing going to stop you from doing a $10,000 a month is you. 
Did you know that? Because you don't believe in yourself. Because you have a mindset that, hey, I would never pay for that, right? I use my wallet to charge people. I would never, I would never pay someone to do that for me, right? And so these are some things that you have to think about. Don't think about it that you are doing this. Don't think that you're ripping someone off. Don't think that you're overcharging someone, right? You're offering a service. You know, there's a lot of money that's going to come out of this $10,000. Just because we do a $10,000 month doesn't mean it's going to be in your pocket, right? I just put $1,000 here into marketing. You're probably going to have $1,000 in gas and chemicals, maybe even two, so this 10,000 is only going to be six or seven in your pocket. Now, that is how we do a $10,000 month. Now, I said, because I know I got some people on here that want to do $100,000 months. So let's talk about the $100,000 months. Let's talk about how do we get to the $100,000 month. Let's add another zero right there. How do we get to the $100,000 months? Well... The first thing you got to do is, is obviously we got to get our average ticket up, right? We can't be at $250. So when I was running my business, each truck needed to do $1,500 days, $1,500 days a day. That's, that was the minimum way of that. That was the minimum, right? And so I had four trucks that was running this four times it right a day so now that still don't get me to a hundred thousand dollars does it um let me see here because i want to make sure four times fifteen hundred times twenty yeah it does get me there it does and i actually i was a little less than that Four trucks at $1,500 a day is $100,000. Now, can you get to $100,000 a month without having four trucks? Absolutely, you can. Benjamin Gregory, that I talk about all the time, he did $750,000 in one year with one truck. Right? It can be done. 750000 with one truck. He was on the truck, and it was a lot of commercial. And that's how we can get to this. Can we do this? Yes. Can I do that with employees? Probably not. Can I do this with an employee running the truck and me not being on the truck? And, and, and here, this is what it comes down to for you guys trying to get to this $100,000 a month. What happens if you get hit by a bus today? Will your business still be running or is your business dead, right? This right here, he gets hit by a truck. This is dead. This business is gone. No more, right? If this guy gets hit by a truck with him being on the truck and him not being able to get off the truck, get employees running, this business here is dead. If you get hit by a truck, this, your wife is just screwed at that point. I hope you got good life insurance, and I hope you have whatever you need for that point, right? That you're, you're dead at this point. So how do we get employees? Well, there's a couple things we have to do to get employees. First thing we need to do is, is we need to have a vision. What's your vision? Can anybody tell me what your vision is? What's your goals? What's your vision? What's your mission statement? Jason, what does that have to do with me hitting $100,000 a month? Well, if we can't get employees involved in what our mission and our vision and our goals and all that kind of stuff, we're, it's going to be really hard to hit this $100,000 a month. Now, I don't say that it's going to happen. I'm not going to say that's going to happen. But I'm just going to say it's hard to hit $100,000 a month without goals and vision and all of that. I'm, gonna say, I'm not going to say it can happen, but it's just going to be really hard to get there. So how do we get there, right? Number one thing we need to have is systems.
you know, I was at, we have a little gas station by our, uh, in this area. And if anybody knows this area, you know what it is. It's called United Dairy Farmers. They sell ice cream and they have 300 stores, right? 300 stores. This isn't just this place that does it, but I've seen the same thing at Chick-fil-A's. I've seen the same thing at a lot of different places. And I actually took this picture here. Let me see if I can pull it up here. I took this picture here. I took this picture, um, and, and this is what I, why I took this picture here. I took this picture because I want to show you how, why systems are so important, right? We got to have systems for everything we do. And so I'm going to show you why systems are important. So they make ice cream. They do turtle sundaes. They do all kinds of crazy things. And I hope I just didn't. Um, they do all kinds of crazy stuff here. Um, shoot, how can I download this? Um, so they do all kinds of crazy stuff, right? They, they have all kinds of ice cream and they have all kinds of stuff. Now, how can they make sure that it gets made every time the same way? And you can do this exact same thing. What I'm going to show you here, you can do this exact same thing. What I'm going to show you here. And this is why I'm going to show this here to you. So that way you can see it here. Maybe. All right. So you can see here that, um, this is how they make a turtle sundae. This is exact way they make a turtle sundae. It gets the very first step is two dips of homemade ice cream. The second step is two eight um, caramel. It gets two heaping pink spoonfuls of pecans. It gets, and it's literally step by step, right? We've broken down this process that anybody can figure this out. This, this system is going to get done, whether it's in Cincinnati, whether they're store in Dayton, whether they're store in Columbus, Ohio, anywhere in the tri-state area, in the three states at this place is, you can go buy you a turtle sundae on every place, and guess what? It doesn't matter which place you're at, you're going to get the exact same thing. So how do we get to hundred thousand dollars? We got to have systems. We got to have systems and not just on the truck, right? We got to have it on the truck. That's one. That's one, right? How, if you're the head technician, this is what you do. If you're the assistant technician, this is what we do, right? And do they got to be perfect when we start now? No, because they're not going to be perfect. Do we want them as perfect as we can? Yes. Now, one thing that we can't do is make these systems here. We can't make these systems here and then uh, us not follow these systems right? We can't say, hey, every time you go to the house, when you get done, you go out and you do a five around. And then when you go out on the truck and you go out there and you do your five around or you get finished on the truck, you don't do your five around. Oh, you know what? We ain't got time for that today. We got three jobs to get done today. And well, that system is a failed system. And here's the thing. We can have all these systems. And if we don't follow them ourselves, our employees are only going to do 80% of what we do. So if we only do 80, if we only do 80% of the systems that we want done, how much are your employees going to do? Well, now we're at 60%, right? Because we only do 80% of what someone tells us to do. Yes, we can have this amazing, beautiful picture here, but we're only going to do 80 what we're told. So these are some things. We need systems on the customer journey, right? What's the customer journey, Jason? What's it look like when you answer your phone? What's the process? What's the process to get them a quote? Are we getting them a quote within five minutes or is it taking us three days? Or are we never giving a quote? I was out today at church because we'd had a trunk or treat at our church. And I was talking to somebody there. Actually, it wasn't today. It was yesterday. It was that men's breakfast yesterday. And there we were got on the discussion of he's a contractor that does like building work, like handyman type thing. And he's like, you know how many people call and they'll go 
but they'll never give a quote. They'll never send the quote. They will go to the job, they'll talk to the customer, and they will never talk, or they will never send them a bill. They'll never send them an estimate, right? What is your customer journey? How does it look from the start to finish? How does it look when you answer the phone? How does it look once you get the quote? How, what's your follow-up processes? What is your, um, once you get it booked process? What is your at the job process? What is it after the job is done? How do you get your billing? How do you get paid, right? For us to hit these $100,000 months, we gotta have these systems in place. Now, do they, again, do they have to be perfect? No, but if we don't have systems in place for this here, this is an impossible feat right here. It is. I'm telling you, this is impossible. Is it possible? Absolutely. But we got to have systems in place to make that work and be able to do what we need to do. Bigger the business gets, the more systems you need to be in place or the issues get bigger. And that's a good point. I'm going to hit on that too, right? Because here's the thing. Here's the thing about this. If we're doing $30,000 months, right, and we have a problem, we, it's just a minute problem. It's just a little bitty problem. When we do $100,000 months, it's a big problem. That little problem at $30,000, just magnify it, right? All we're going to do is just magnify our problems. Because if we don't have a system for it, I promise you, it will magnify the problem. It will be so big that you're like, oh my God, what am I going to do, Jason? Right? What am I going to do? How do I get this done? But this is so true right here. Um, like I said, you got big problems. It's going to happen. Mission to become the household name in the washing industry by becoming the largest and the highest ranking company in the Southeast. Achieved through our high level professionalism and severe um professional and superior um service so why you got the who and how but why what's the why um that's a big question what's the why all right i'm gonna roll back up here a little bit because i've seen you guys had some good questions or good stuff here i put my card on every single fuel pump every time i get gas right boots on the ground Five rounds. You guess what? Somebody might use it. What's it going to cost you to put a business card on there? 50 cents? Yeah. How much is that business card worth? We don't know. That business card could be worth $100,000. How much is that business card worth if it's sitting in your wallet? I'll tell you how much it's worth. Goose egg. That's how much it's worth. A big zero. How much is that yard sign sitting in the garage that you want to get out? Zero. You got to get them out there. What up, Grant? How are you doing? I always knock on doors first and then don't answer. Then I leave the card with a quote already on it. I like to watch the front of the house first to put on the show. Where do you guys get your signs from? Moneybushes.com is a great place to get it. Moneybushes.com. Let's see. Um, Moneybushes.com. This guy wrote success story. This week has paid off and the wonderful thing we all call yard signs. Just landed a true first true big house washing off of one of those great um, signs of $2,700. Packages are key, like Jason says, that and yard signs. Moneybushes.com, right? Moneybushes.com. Always do a five around no matter what. So small houses for $250 per day, $500 a day. Moneybushes.com. I landed two Taco Bells for this week. I quoted about six months ago, right? And that's the other thing. You know, to be able to hit this big number here, to be able to hit these here, this isn't going to just come by doing Google ads. This isn't just going to come by doing 100 yards or 1,000 yard signs a day. 
right? This is going to come by planting those seeds, by doing the things that we need to do, right? By doing LinkedIn, by doing Google ads, by doing Facebook ads, by doing our Google My Business, by getting our five-star reviews, right? We're not going to get to $100,000 off of one revenue. Now, can we get to hundred? Can we get to $10,000? off of one signs or off of signs absolutely i've seen it done over and over and over and over and over again um just finished up a 5400 dollars late job 12 hours 450 dollars an hour see don't think that you can't do it right don't believe that you can't do it Um, it might sound silly, but wash and clean everybody's mailbox for free every time. It's something that you're giving extra, right? It's that little bit extra. If we finish the booked work, we will be over 200,000 for the year. I think I can get some help now. Yes. Um, roof houses, gutters, driveways, boat docks, and fire pits. Hey, Jason, do you know why my O-rings... Just shot out from both my guns. Um, no, unless you don't have the, the piece in it or like your nozzle in it, they can shoot out. Um, the process. System, system, systems. I know you got this on here, but do you all like the whiteboard? Although, I'm, I mean, I did it for Christmas lights the other night. Let me know if you like the whiteboard. And even further, each ingredient is processed step by step in manufacturing. Yep, absolutely. Bigger the business, better off. Um, which is better on Facebook and add friends to business page or personal page? It depends. I've got, it, but it's not just adding to them. You got to be posting three, four, five times a day, eight, nine times a day. It's something that if you're going to do that, you have to hit it hard. Jason, how do you approach a property that has fish in ponds? Uh, make sure no bleach gets in them because otherwise one drop of bleach in it, they're dead fishies. Um, and I don't want you to kill no fish. Um, you talk about a screw up, the last screw up, the <laughs> your other mess up, that is a big mess up. Fish can cost ten grand, twenty thousand, thirty thousand dollars for a stupid fish. So they are stupid. A uh, whiteboard is great. I'm a visual learner. Yes, it works. Yes, get out of here, fly. One of the best things you can do for yourself and your clients is raise your prices. Amen to that. I mean, I showed you how raising your prices can be huge and be well worth the investment of raising your prices. I'm a big believer in raising your prices, right? Whether it's Christmas lights, pressure washing, whatever it might be. I've got a guy, my Christmas light guy, and he had this amazing house, 500 feet of lights and charge $1,000. I'm like, dude. You don't even understand what you're trying to do here, right? You've got to raise your prices. You cannot be like, well, blah, blah. you just got to raise your prices. Because here's the thing. If you don't raise your prices, you'll be out of business. It's just that's the fact, right? If you don't raise your prices, you'll be out of business. Nothing worse than doing a job and realize you priced it too low. And what I say about this is, is learn from it right learn why what can you do to sell better because really that's what it comes down to or realizing that hey you know what if i get 70 or if i get seven no's right if i get seven no's then i know those three yeses are going to be worth my time and i'm going to do more work and less time of doing it right and so those are very important that this is why we raise our prices so that way we can use that money to grow our business because here's the thing guys let's think about it this way if i have a 30 percent close rate with a thousand dollar average ticket right i can spend a hundred dollars Per client, per client, that's stupid, Jason, $100,000, or $1,000, or $1, I'm getting my mess messed up here, $1,000, I can 
I can spend $100, $100 per customer. If I'm doing $250 jobs, I can only spend $25 to get that customer, right? And so this is why it's important that if I can spend $100 per customer and get an average ticket of $1,000, this is where I want to be at. I don't want to be here because to me, to make this, I've got to do four jobs, four jobs to make that $1,000. Can I even do four jobs in a day? Maybe, maybe not. You know, that's something that depends on where they're at and depending on your equipment. And it's going to cost me more gas. It's going to cost me more customers that's going to complain. And here's the thing. Here, you want to hear what the real good thing is? That customer, this $1,000 customer is less likely to complain than these four $250 customers. You don't have complaints out of your $1,000 customers. You have your complaints out of your $250 customers. It never fails. Your lowball customers are your worst customers. They're the worst customers that have tried to drive the price down. You got any discounts? Yeah, I got a discount. You're already getting it for $250. How about no is your answer to that? You know, these $1,000 customers, they usually don't ask for a discount. They just say, come do it. Because here's the thing, this $250 people, this is a lot of money usually to them because this isn't your high dollar houses here. $1,000, and these are usually people that are making fifty dollars to $100,000. These people here are making $75,000 to $200,000 family income. $1,000 ain't nothing to them. But two hundred fifty for those other people is a lot of money. And so those are some things to think about when we are dealing with $250 customers versus $1,000 customer. Low price, bad feeling after the job is done. You think you've raised your prices until the customer tells you, when can you start? And then you kick yourself and that should have been higher. Name your price. And here's the other thing. I'll tell you one other thing about this. You know, usually you'll give that customer that, that customer that you're like, this customer is going to be a pain in the butt. You know, the pain in the butt customer. So I'm going to bid this job like four times higher than normal. You know, I'm going to go really high and then they take the price. And you're like, I don't want this job. But I guess I'll have to do this job because you're paying four more times than I thought that you wouldn't pay it, but they pay it. Because you know what? When you do a couple things that other people don't do, when you answer your phone, when you call people back, when you answer the phone and you see it's that customer that you're like, oh crap, this is a callback. I don't want to answer it, right? When you answer that phone, that goes so far, man. People will use you left and right because you answer your phone. You do what you say you're gonna do. You, do, you don't even do amazing work. You might only do subpar work, but if you do what you say you're going to do and you answer your phone and you show up at the time you say you're going to show up, maybe show up five minutes early or 10 minutes early, guess what? People will love you. I guarantee people will love you. I promise you people will love you. What's going on, guys? Always watch but never say anything. Keep it up, Jason. I've been those people. <laughs> Um, so what that price includes everything. <laughs> yes. Yes. You're like, no, I'm, that wasn't everything. Just a little bit here, <laughs> but Hey, so if you, so here's my question for you. So I have something that I'm coming up with and I'm going to, I'm going to partner up with somebody. I'm possibly thinking about partner up and I got two options. Would you rather have a website and a five paid website and, and it's rank or it's, you know, trying to rank for one keyword and it'd be about 1500 to 2000 or would you rather have a course or a tell you what to do every month to rank your Google, my business stuff?
And so this would be like, um, it's a, it would be a spreadsheet or it'll be a checklist of, hey, this is what you need to do this month, this, 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 and this. And this way you can rank your Google My Business um, from this. So let me know in the comments, which one would you rather have? Would you rather, and this is not Jason putting this course together. This is somebody that I've actually talk to people and i've actually some of you know who i'm talking about um i'm thinking about doing it with mine saw um and so he's going to put the course together and tell how to do it and he ranks he ranks a bunch of different websites and so which one would you rather have a website that has like four or five pages and it'll have some a little bit of stuff here and there it'll go for about 1500 to 2000 or would you rather have a course or a like a monthly thing of saying, hey, this is what you need to do. These are where you need to get this from. This is what you need to do. Um, so that way um, it is it. Selling courses is a scam. Here's the thing. I don't believe that. You can believe that all you want is selling courses is a scam. Um, and that's fine and that's great for you to believe that. But you're going to have a hard time getting ahead. Now, I know there is courses out there that are complete scams. There's people out there that say they've made money and they've literally haven't made crap because they got a $150,000 sales job. And I get that. I get that 100%. But this is something that um, I'm, I'm putting my name behind it. And I normally don't put my name behind something unless I believe in it. Done my first job last week in driveway. $550. Done another one yesterday for a house wash for $350. That's awesome, Josh. Awesome, awesome, awesome. The course, Teach a Boy to Fish. I agree 100% on that. Good start. Good start. Keep marketing and take action every day. Step by step is how I learn. And it's true. I agree on that. All right. So that just gives me a good point of, I've been talking back and forth with him for about the last week, last three or four days. And so I wanted to ask everyone what your opinion would be. Last month, I closed 20 Subway stores to wash because I answered my phone. Ha <laughs> ha, keep that phone near you. It's amazing how that works, isn't it? Isn't it amazing how answering your phone makes you money? It's amazing. I love it. It's awesome. Maybe you offer both and see what people focus on. Yeah, I've thought about that too. Um, how to get more gutter cleaning jobs. Really easy. Yard signs, baby. That's how you get more yard. That's how you get more, more gutter cleaning jobs. Yard signs. How many yard signs can you put out in a week? And I'd be putting them out now because it is time for gutter cleaning in my area. Um... The true judge of character and resilience is when things are going wrong, not when things are going right. Yes. So if you want to join and learn more about pressure washing, go check out King of Pressure Wash. I don't have any in-person classes coming up yet. I do have one I'll be speaking in a couple places here. Um, I'll probably do one in January or February down south somewhere. I don't know where. Um, of an in-person pressure washing class. Um, if anybody in Florida wants to have one down there in January, I would love to come and put do a class on at your place or however we want to do it. Um, and so those are some things that, because um, I know i got a lot of Florida guys that want to learn how to do pressure washing. Um, so if you do, message me. Best way is message me on Facebook, and I will get back with you and do that but again um i haven't hit this one here in a while but if you want 30 days free you can go to king or pressurewashhelp.com slash free that gets you 30 days in the membership that gets you four marketing mondays which let me hit on that marketing monday before we jump off here the last monday marketing this past week was amazing that monday marketing is worth a million dollars and i'm not just saying that to be saying that i literally could make you a million dollars off of this past monday marketing now does it take some work absolutely it does but we went over linkedin 
how to use email marketing and all kinds of ninja tools. And I wasn't the one that taught it. I actually brought somebody in to teach it. And so that Monday marketing is worth a million dollars. No, no doubt in my mind, it's not worth more than that. Um, and he gives you tools of how to make it work in the whole nine yards. It is recorded, so if you do join, you will get that one free also. So you can go back and listen to the past Monday Marketings. But the Monday Marketings is definitely where it's at. It is where I help you and show you and teach you every Monday of how to grow and scale your business. So that's what I love to do. Um, what yeah hit the like button for the knowledge um what size yard signs we can't put them out but i'm going to start doing a deal with the constant the other thing is is he also does some smaller ones so then that way i do like the 18 by 24 but the smaller ones sometimes work just as well too um what are y'all paying you're going to pay anywhere for about three dollar 350 somewhere in there 350 to four bucks a sign Thank you. Going into business alone is tough, and you make us all feel like we aren't um, roughing it alone. And this is true. This is the entrepreneurship as a whole. Um, you know, that's one reason why I do the Monday marketing, because a lot of people do come in, and it is just for the community side of things, of uh, just talking to each other, learning from each other. Um, and so I understand that hard, because it is something that, it's tough, right? It is definitely tough. What time Monday? It's at nine o'clock Eastern time. I'm at 97,000 in seven months, part time. So, yep, it's real. It is. And, you know, Zig's, Zig's slacking a little bit because Jason's at 200. No, he's doing awesome. So, um, that is definitely cool. Um, 18 by 24 on poles and intersection. The smaller ones go in the yard when you're done. Yep. But, other than that, I hope you all have a great night, and I'll see you all tomorrow night at Monday Monday Night Marketing. Have a great night, guys.